This building's really looking great for 10 years old. Again, it's all EF block, and then we uh, stuccoed it, carved the stucco to look like brick. The coach at that time, he wanted it to be like the Colorado Rockies, so it's kind of a, a brown or a Colorado color. And then we put the concrete cap on it. Uh, we've got some umbrella sleeves we put in there. This building here is really, really amazing. Uh, we took an infrared camera and shot the outside of this building. It was 114 degrees ambient air temperature. The outside surface was 123 in the sun. And then we went inside in the shade where the uh, thermal mass is and it was 82 degrees. So it was like 54 degrees difference between the outside wall temperature and the inside. While we were doing this project and putting the pavers down, the booster club came to me and said, can you uh, uh, sandblast in some names like they did at Bank One Ballpark? And I said, absolutely. So uh, I think they charge $5 or $10 a brick uh, and we sandblasted it in and grouted it and it's pretty good. Pretty cool again, it's something that's carved in concrete. Uh, 100 years from now, somebody will come back, this building will still be standing, unlike a stick frame building, uh, but this building will still be standing, these pavers will be here with, uh, with the names in them, and uh, I'm very proud of that. I'm, I'm... Hey, again, this isn't brick, this is carved stucco. You put on the brown coat, they call it, which is the, the first coat, allow that to cure, then you put on the second coat, the color coat, and then you take a tool and carve this out to any shape you want. And uh, it's just a beautiful surface. This here is a stained concrete cap we put on. You can see the umbrella sleeves over there. You can see the umbrella sleeves here so you can drop in an umbrella. And then around front I want to show you the pavers we did where we sandblasted their names in and grouted it. It looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm.